Steve Stillbird's dad. Why are we having his wake in this place? Because Steelbird would have wanted it that way. <laughs> it's all right, big boy. Did you just fucking fart? No. It's Steelbird. <laughs> he was really bloated when they found him. They've been sitting in that hot tub for five days. Stevie, I am going to make you the best fucking mushroom salad you've ever had in your life. What are you doing, Eric? This is a bar. So what? I can't go back to the place where it all happened. Eric, these are death cat mushrooms. They're totally poisonous. You're telling me that I killed Steelbird? Wait a minute. How come you're not dead? I don't like mushrooms. I f***ing hate mushrooms. Hey, is this the wait for Steelberg? Well, hey, hey. I'm his cousin, Adam. Yeah. Adam Beach. Hi, Adam. Hey. How did he die? Were you with him when he died? No, I wasn't. But what the f*** are you talking about? You want to accuse a guy who's good friends with a bunch of f***ing babies? He's harmless. He's just still upset because Steelberg was his man friend. His BMF. So what do we do now? Stevie and I are going to f*** around on Xbox. And I don't know about you, but good luck wherever you're going and whatever you're doing. I'm sure I'll never see you again. Come on, Stevie. Let's go. Hey, wait, you dirtbag. It's OK, guys. I got this. What? Yeah, Steelberg gave you $2,000 in his will. There you go. Keep the change. Thank you. I'm Adam Beach. Hey, this is Stevie Solace and welcome to Show 13 of Arbor Live. As always with Show 13, we take the best and the worst of everything that we did and we put it into one show. Tonight's the kind of night where you're going to see Eric Swig have a nice Academy Award winning performance or perhaps a Gemini performance by Adam Beach because this is where they do their best work. And you're going to see some good music. So turn it up and until next time, we'll see you again on Arbor Live. <laughs> Benny's coming on, I want to watch it. Uh, screw that, let's watch North of 60. Give me the 
fucking thing. I ain't fucking missing it for no north of 60. All right, well, let's do this Canadian style, all right? What the is Canadian style? I kick you in the weenuk, and then you kick me in the weenuk, and we keep doing that, and then the last person standing gets to watch their own show. Sounds fair to me. Okay, I'm first. All right. Okay, now it's my turn. Ah, no, it's okay, you win. Bam. Where the hell am I, baby? Did he just call me baby? Do you think when you kicked him in the nuts? Then jarred something loose in his brain, and now he thinks he's Elvis? All right there, Kid Creo. We're just about ready for you. One and a two and a buckle mash! Oh. King, that was amazing. Quick, get that thing out of there. I want to take that hard drive down. You know, this is going to be worth a million dollars. Kidding, that's insane. Uh, Mr. Elvis! Oh, I can't wait till we sing our next song. Not right now, man. I gotta take a nap. All right, I can give you a massage if you want. So a happy ending? What's a happy ending? <clears throat> King, what the hell are you doing? What's going on, baby? Oh, crap. He's the fat Elvis now. We'll never get him on the Western Hour. Well, as long as we still got this. Our million dollars. Look at that damn chocolate, man. No! No! That's the worst damn chocolate I ever had in my life, man. Come on, Eric. Get it off. I'm going to go to bed. Fever of 110. Uh, I think I'm gonna die. If you do die, you think I could get that loincloth you wore in Squanto? I always like that. I guess so. It's hanging in my closet if you want to get it. Awesome. Thanks, brother. You're the yeah. best. I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> You're gonna fall down the stairs! I cut it out, Adam. You could be a jerk. How did you do that? This fever, it's letting me see things. Oh yeah? Touch this, tell me what you see, d**k A fart? Yo Adam, come on. So what do you got for me, baby? You see anything? I got a hot day tonight. I need to get a little, what? Give me your hand. Okay, come on. Just massage me first. What are you doing? Look, I need to relax before I get the vision. I'm just a little tense right now. Oh my God, buddy, you are tense. Uh, ooh, it's coming. Is it? I see her. Yeah. 
Oh, wow, she's hot. Wait, she's turning around. Okay, okay. Ah! Are you tranny? What? what? It's you in a dress. What? The visions never lie. Hey, hot stuff. This is never gonna fix your lower back. If you wanna fix your lower back, you gotta do Thai chisel. It's a mix of hip hop with a little bit of oriental noodles. Happy ending. What we need to do, boys, is release our chi. Watch. Follow me. And. Adam! That's not releasing the chi that he's talking about! Son of a. Do you think for one day out of our miserable lives we could actually act like adults, huh? Being an adult is boring, man. You're the most immature Indian I've ever met in my life. Cut it out. Well, today that's gonna change. Today, I start acting my age. How long do you think it's gonna be until he's lighting his own farts again? Whew. Dude, I just owed eat on all these Cheetos. What are you doing there, Eric? Getting all caught up on your current events? Yep. But you wouldn't understand. You boys just go back to your punk ass activities. Okay. Would you like another cookie, senor? What are you two shit birds doing now? We're going sewer surfing. The ocean's polluted. It's better in the sewers, man. You wanna go? I can't. I got a job. And a bank. A food bank? A blood bank? At a money bank. You gotta learn this fucking rule book before 9 a.m. in the morning. Now, fuck off. Whatever, Grandpa. Dude, look. Five swimsuit models are coming to join us. Bite <laughs> right down over there. You know who loves him some swimsuit models? Eric! Oh, I love the name Eric. If he were here, I'd probably take my swimsuit off. <laughs> <laughs> Watching retard. Infomercials. That's the worst form of television on earth. How the fuck do you live with yourself watching that dog shit? It's worse than our fucking show. Oh my god. What are they selling? Exercise equipment. Fucking buying it. What's that sound? That sounds like 
the tragically hip. Nah, that's Eric's Jazzercise DVD. Buns of Steel. Oh, what a sensual video. And what part of the body is this supposed to work out? Well, uh, what you see me doing here is actually really good for the tender part of your uh, inner cheeks. And uh, what you're doing is good for uh, your hoopar and your uh, back fat, if you got any. And uh, Nick Cage tried to kiss you on the mouth? Did you blame him? Look at these lips. That's nothing. Eric, what's going on? Yeah, what are you doing? Get these girls from Hey, girls, I'm Adam Beach. I was in Cowboys and Aliens. We had an exercise class going here. This is the worst class ever. Yeah, there's no way this guy trained the Canucks. Let's get out of here. You're leaving. Oh girls. Eric, girls. Don't motivate girls, him, Eric. Please, please. Just, just. Stay right there. Show him the jerk out. Show him the jerk out. You see his Tai Chi. You want to see the jerk out? <laughs> You're going to love the jerk out. Just follow me. Just follow motivate me. Motivate Say, just jerk it out. This guy's a total f it. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Girls. Girls. Girls! What's going on? Eric, how come you're not teaching? Because I suck ass at teaching. Suck ass. So this guy, Hernando, was amazing. Did you know he's one-eighth full-blood yogi? Beautiful class, ladies. Beautiful energy in the class. Namaste to you all. So amazing as always. Hey, girls, hey, we're over here. Uh, Adam Beach, remember? Who's Adam Beach? Look at this, I'm digging that photography class. It's iPhone, Adam. Yeah, I know, but look, you can make anything beautiful if you just try. Uh, except Eric. <laughs> Hardy har har. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, big boy, what's going on? Wow, what's with the bear? He's the guy that's always dancing on Fortis and Main. He's the guy doing the steps. He's famous. Oh, I know who you are. Yeah, you're awesome. And sometimes you wear that reindeer outfit, too. Yeah. That guy is ripping up all my greatest stuff, man. All my trademark moves. He's still riding the pony. He's stealing all of it, man. He taunts me, he tries to get in my head. He's stealing my moves, and I can't do anything about it. Wow, you're angry. That's beautiful. Can I take a picture of you? Yo, what's up, boys? Well, Eric, what are you doing wearing the bear outfit? What's going on? We're gonna put the hammer down on Reindeer Boy. That's what's gonna happen. Wow. Hey, yeah, this is me. No, no training. Really? Hey, okay, cool. Wow. What's up? Wow, that was Philippe Ferrand from the City Arts Council. Said I'm a photographic genius. And then just give me a slap. It turns into a horse. Just ride that like a horse. Oh, come on. Ride that. Come on, man. You're an Indian. You should know how to ride a horse. I'm a fing Eskimo, you d off. Hey, guys. Philippe turned me on to this oil. 
camera loves this stuff. Yeah, so do pig wrestlers. Isn't this you? Yeah, that's me. Wow, you got a great shot of my package. What site is this on? That's gaywarriors.com. What? What the f are you doing on that site? It's Stilberg's computer. It's his default setting. new series about three guys doing a music show. Give me, Give me that. that. Wait a minute. It's three Indian guys. This, is, this has got to be a joke. Cowboys and aliens? Whatever happened to cowboys and Indians? Couldn't they at least just give us that? Wait a minute. It says here they signed a multi-million dollar contract? They named their show Harbor Live. Okay, thanks. Awesome. My buddy in LA, he's sending us the Harbor Live pilot. Gonna check it out. Hey everybody, what's happening out there? Welcome back to Harbor Live. And we're sitting on set as promised this week. I'm gonna give you some cheat notes to the brand new Friday Night Magic game that you're only gonna get right here from the boys on Harbor Live. We got our boys in the game room right now working up all the system tricks. So you'll be ahead of the game when you're with your girlfriend at night and you can impress her. Let's talk about who we got rocking on the show this week. Last week we had Debbie Boone and people lost their mind. I was thinking about booking Nickelback. Are they too heavy? I know there's some edgy rockers, but I know when they talk about having some, the girl with her underwear around her ankles, I don't know about that, but boy, those boys can rock. We're gonna get into calling the guy from Nickelback. Stay tuned, everybody, because you're watching Hop Live! Holy sh! I don't get it. How does a bunch of idiots?
idiots get a multi-million dollar deal and we're stuck here with nothing. Welcome back to Harbor Live, all you rockers. Now it's the time of the show that you all love. Time for the Harbor Live giveaway. Tonight we've got the heavy metal DVD by those Irish metal rockers Coldplay. Marissa, bring it out. Hey guys. Oops. What? Whoa! Are you kidding me? A girl bending over, that's the show? Hey, rewind it. Hey, fellas. Oops. <laughs> what? I got a call from uh, the Wish Come True Foundation. I know those fuckers. They help kids with shitty diseases. They make their wishes come true, right? Look, there's this guy named Bronson, and he has liver titus. What the fuck is liver titus? It's like hepatitis, except it bypasses the hepa and goes straight for the liver. And he's a huge music fan, and he plays the drums, and he wants to meet someone famous. So I think he should come to the stage to meet David Grohl from the Foo Fighters. Yo, guys, oh, guys, I got some bad news, bad news. Dave Grohl can't make it. His pet pig died. He had to fly home. What are we going to do? Because we got to get somebody real good. Especially this week, that Wish Come True kid is coming. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You know what we could do? We could call my sister's cousin's brother's father from Moose Factory. His name's Gilbert Chickenbeak, and he's a great drummer. I'm Gilbert Chickenbeak, of the Great Northern Hippopotamus Clan. Are you kidding me? This guy? This guy? Why would I want to watch this guy hit the skin when I was promised the day girl, the Foo Fighters, is going to be here? Nick came down with food poisoning after eating days-old chicken salad from Kraft Services. For the rest of the program, the role of Bronson Pelche will be played by Bronson Pelche. Can you keep a secret? <laughs> I've been scamming those Make-A-Wish chumps for months. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm just f***ing with you. Bronson? You are a great kid, and I gotta tell you, I feel really, really bad we weren't able to get Dave Grohl here for you. I know how much it means to you, buddy. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, maybe we can do it next year. <clears throat> Oops. Hey, hey, either way, we hope you have a heck of a time on that rocket ship ride. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You three guys are the biggest f***ing idiots I have ever met. Look, I'm not 15, I'm 24, and don't even f***ing have Live in Titus. <laughs> he 
got hit by a truck. He's dead. Yeah! Hit me now! Hit me now! Hi, fellas. Arbor Live? Yeah, who are you? Larry Little, Big Ticket Entertainment. I'm here because it's a huge show, top ten show, called Harbor Live. You guys are that show. And we're going to take it to the big four networks. Possibly Univision, because frankly you look a little Mexican. What do you mean, we? I'm here to represent you. Here are the contracts, sign right there. And congratulations, you're all rich. <laughs> yeah! All right, guys, thanks for sitting down with me. You look great, by the way. I see you did some shopping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I watched your tapes. They're fantastic. I have one small note. I think we should go a little younger with the cast. I'm thinking we get rid of MC Buffalo Killer over there and get someone younger and a little more fertile. We can't get rid of E-Rock. All right. Well, how about a theme song? Could you give me a theme song at least? Yeah, come on. That's easy. So Larry Little said, make it a toe tapper. We have a couple of lines. Adam, can you come up with a line? How, try that. Ready, Eric? Here we go. One, two, three. You ready? You didn't record that? I'm f***ing burnt out. Yeah, I want to veg out now, too. Welcome back to Harbor Live, everybody. That was Holy that hit killed It's Harbor Live. By the guitar maestro John Mayer, that heavy metal icon. What'd you think of that one? Too heavy for words. If it wasn't for them ripping us off, we wouldn't be big time. I haven't seen a cent yet. Let's bring out our resident songwriting gangster, Little Larry. Come on out, Little Larry. Yo, what up, what up, what up? That's our agent, Larry Little. What the f***? Let's bring this Or someone that looks surprisingly One, familiar. Two. One, two, three. Of these contracts. This isn't even a contract. This is a budget spreadsheet. Holy sh! Look at how much these guys are getting paid. Well, we get nothing. My gosh, these guys are making bank. This is Tinsel. Hey. Tinsel, these are the guys. Look, I almost got hit by a double decker bus today, and whew, Tinsel saved my life. Mm -hmm. I, I was thinking, Tinsel, maybe you could stay here for a couple of days. You're so sweet. Yeah, make yourself at home. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I like this spot right here. Oh, it's like it's been worked in. Excuse me, can you move your hand? Are you trying to touch my boob? Um, Bigfoot, can you put your feet down? That's where people eat. Game time, it's game time, it's game time. Hey, what the hell is this? We're watching football today. What is this? Uh -uh. Are you kidding me? Uh, so this is our house. You can't tell us we can't watch the game. We do this every week. You can't override us in our house. <laughs> Try me. 
guys, I'm in love with tinsel. How the f can you love her when I love her? Well, I love her more. Well, I loved her first. I loved her second, and two is bigger than one. Well, second is the first loser. Tinsel, I'm thoroughly convinced I'm the man that you need to be with. Uh, no. Um, I am. That's really nice and all, but uh, I think I found the guy that I really like. Hello, fellas, what's going on? Eric, you need to clean them dirty socks of mine. Adam, scrub those dirty drawers. And boys, use that OxyClean, because I don't want to see them stains. <laughs> And that's why you need Dr. Lee's press-on teeth. I'm not interested. Well, if you act right now, I'll throw in an instant DNA tester. F off. Uh, you know that key that you open a click with? Well, I lost it, and I tried using my teeth, and look it. Uh, there goes my movie career! Jackass. There you go. Now you can f off. Wow, this stuff is great! I wonder what other stuff is in here. What the... Find out if your friends are really your relatives? Who the hell would want that? That's fucking stupid. All right, dudes, this has got to be the stupidest thing you ever asked me to do. But I got nothing else to do, so why not? Yeah! All right. Says if it turns blue, you guys are brothers. Oh, my God. That is blue for brothers.
Um, the reason why we've got you to come here and observe this wonderful time, well, sad time, because us three <clears throat> have decided as the Arbor Live guys to close the door on this chapter in our lives. What do each of you plan on doing now? I'm, I'm going to be a bike messenger. I've always had visions of myself sailing around the globe. That's good. Um, well, me, I'm going to be sex superhero, baby. <laughs> Chichis Grandes from Univision. We need something to compare to Harbor Live in the Latin market, and you boys sure do look Mexican. What do you say, boys? We on? Wow, that's a lot of money. But I can't give up biking in 40 below weather. I love the way my weepy feels when it freezes to the frozen gel in my bike seat. That's my security. I can't give that up. That is a lot of cash. You're right, Eric. And the money's nice, but there's no way I'm going to get more action than this bad boy's getting me right now. <laughs> All right, boys. Adios. Wow, there's a whole camera crew here! Hey, guys! <laughs> 
Debbie Boone singing, You Light Up My Life. Came in. Yeah! What order? What, what, from the... the, the... <laughs> 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 